Hello children, today we are going to learn chapter 1, Nutrition in Plants, part 1. Children, do you remember the different components of food which you learned in class 6? These components are carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins, minerals, water and roughage. The components of food like carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals are also called nutrients. Carbohydrates and fats provide energy to carry out our life processes. Proteins help to grow and repair damaged parts of the body. Vitamins and minerals provide resistance to fight against diseases and protection from different infections. You must have learned all these things in class 6. The word nutrition comes from a Latin word which means to nourish or to feed. The mode of taking food by an organism and its utilization in the body is known as nutrition. So nutrition means how the organisms obtain or take food, whether they prepare it inside their body or takes the food prepared by other organisms. Depending on this, there are two modes of nutrition. First, autotropic nutrition and second, heterotropic nutrition. Today, we will discuss only the autotropic nutrition. The word auto means self and tropos means nourishment. So it is a mode of nutrition in which organisms make their own food from simple substances like carbon dioxide and water by the process of photosynthesis. The organisms that make their own food by the process of photosynthesis are known as autotrophs. Some examples are bacteria, algae and most of the plants. Some of the examples are given here like cyanobacteria or blue-green algae, most of the plants, algae and some bacteria. It is written chemosynthetic bacteria. It means they take the energy from some chemicals, not from sunlight. Now, what is photosynthesis? The word photo means light and synthesis means to combine. So the process by which green plants make their own food from simple inorganic substances like carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight and a green pigment called chlorophyll is known as photosynthesis. What is the site of photosynthesis or where does it take place in the plant? So it takes place in the green leaves. So leaves are also called the food factories or the kitchen of the plants. Now what are the necessary conditions for photosynthesis to take place? So there are four conditions. The first one is the presence of a green pigment called chlorophyll. Second is the presence of sunlight. Third is the availability of carbon dioxide. And the fourth is availability of water. So if all these four conditions are satisfied, then only photosynthesis takes place in the green leaves. Chlorophyll is a green pigment present in the structures called chloroplast, which is present in the cells of leaves. Chlorophyll traps the solar energy and uses it for making food for the plants. It is also present in the green stems and branches of some plants like cactus and they can also perform photosynthesis. Sunlight is the ultimate source of energy for all living organisms because plants prepare their food with the help of sunlight and other organisms. And other organisms are dependent on plants either directly or indirectly. Carbon dioxide is obtained from the air through 
tiny pores present on the surface of leaf. These pores are called stomata, which is shown in the figure. So, stomata are tiny pores present on the lower surface of the leaf and these are guarded by guard cells. And these guard cells regulate the opening and closing of stomata. The stomata is used to ex exchange the gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and for transpiration. Transpiration means loss of water in the form of water vapor from the stomata. Now this process helps in the process of water cycle and the movement of water from the roots to the leaves in plants. Water is absorbed by the root hairs from the soil and is transported through special vessels to the leaves. These vessels are known as xylem. And the food made by the leaves are transported to all parts of the plant through special vessels known as phloem, which is shown in the figure. So the water move always moves in the upward direction and the food can move in upward direction also and in downward direction also. Now this is the reaction uh, which takes place during photosynthesis. Carbon dioxide and water combines in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll to give carbohydrate and oxygen. Glucose is the simplest carbohydrate and the formula of glucose is C6H12O6. Products of photosynthesis. So, in photosynthesis, there are two main products. One is carbohydrate, which is stored in the plants in the form of starch. And the second is oxygen, which comes out through stomata and is used by all living organisms for respiration, including plants. Now, synthesis of plant food other than carbohydrates. We know that carbohydrates are made up of three elements, carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Protein and fats require nitrogen along with carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. So the nitrogen for proteins is absorbed by the plants with water. This nitrogen is added to the soil by the bacteria present in the root nodules of leguminous plants that is pulses through a process of nitrogen fixation. Now there is an activity which shows that sunlight is necessary for photosynthesis. First we will take two plants A and B and A is kept in dark and B is kept in light. After 72 hours, one leaf is plucked from both the plants and boiled in water and then boiled in alcohol. The leaf is washed with hot water and then few drops of iodine solution was added. The color of the leaf changes to blue-black in case of plant B showing that it contains starch and photosynthesis has taken place. Now what about colored leaves? Whether they will perform photosynthesis or not? The answer is yes. They also perform photosynthesis but the colors are present. Different colors are present in very large amount and they masks the green color of chlorophyll in the leaves. So chlorophyll or the green color is not clearly visible but they are present and they also perform photosynthesis. Now photosynthesis is very important for all of us. If plants do not perform photosynthesis there would be no food on earth. It is also important for the production of oxygen gas in the atmosphere which is necessary in respiration of organisms. Therefore, it can be said that no life is possible in the absence of photosynthesis. 
Now let's summarize the topic. Plants prepare their food by photosynthesis. Photosynthesis requires carbon dioxide, water, sunlight and chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is a green pigment which traps the solar energy. Stomata are tiny pores on the leaves through which gases are exchanged. Carbohydrate and oxygen are formed during photosynthesis. Starch gives blue-black color in iodine test. Children, in the next class, we will discuss about heterotropic mode of nutrition.